Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Leia and I'm gonna teach you how to bake a kartoffel torte or in English a potato cake. Here are the things we need. Four egg whites beaten, four egg yolks, 120 to 150 grams of sugar, 100 grams ground hazelnuts, you can also use almond nuts if you like. 300 grams of mashed potatoes. 150 grams of hot whites and grease. In English, they said it's called semolina. I don't know what's the Visayan word for this, but it looks like a polenta or a ground mice. So the texture is like this. A pinch of sugar of salt and a bit of mashed banana and a cinnamon powder it's about a teaspoon of cinnamon powder but these two ingredients are optional I've already made two I already baked two potato cakes from the previous times and now I'm gonna try it with a bit of banana for aroma and a bit of cinnamon powder so let's start baking so i've already beaten my egg whites first before beating my other ingredients so i have a very clean mixer so let's mix all our ingredients together let's start with our egg yolks Add the sugar gradually. sugar The mashed potatoes. We're gonna mix in the mashed potatoes for about 10 minutes. So that's it. I will add my hazelnuts now. Salt. 
I almost forgot. It's just a pinch of salt. Just a little bit. So here comes my banana. I'm just experimenting how this will be with the banana aroma. I almost forgot the most important ingredient, baking powder. So I added the baking powder now. Let's mix it again. Now it's being well mixed together. The last thing is to blend the egg whites to this mixture, okay? So carefully blend them together. We don't have shortening in this cake, so the egg whites is very, very important. And it should be fluffy. I'll be back. I will just mix them together. Look at that very wonderful mixture of our cake. ready to be transferred in the pan so this pan is about 26 centimeter radius so I don't know how I will measure it in order for you to see how big it is so this is the spoon it's like yeah just a one-fourth size more and then that's the right size you could also you're also free to choose the form whichever you like so i already put butter on my pan so it will not stick later when it's ready in pan dutch i have schon meine pfanne mit butter in fett We will just transfer our mixture into the pan. While I was mixing all my ingredients, I already preheat my oven into 180 degrees and I will bake this for around 50 minutes. So it's in the oven now. We will just have to wait. Waiting time. So while waiting for my cake, we're, we're gonna make a chocolate ganache. Okay, it's about, I put a bit butter so the ganache will be very shiny later. It will look so beautiful. Actually, we have to make a wasserbad. We should have done this in a in a boiling water and the pan and we will heat this pan there but you know I think there's no difference in it I just heat my my stove or how do you call this this hair I just heat it with a very 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 low heat so we're gonna add our dark chocolate this is 100 grams of dark chocolate so. da -da 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 -da. when the dark chocolate is already melting you can add a bit of cream a double cream so it will not be so sticky. Oh my gosh, it's boiling. It should not be boiling. Just mix them like that. So, like that. It 
relaxing to bake or to cook. You can forget everything. So, just wait. Okay. I put it out of my out of the heat. So it doesn't look so nice, but later later you will see. This will be very, very beautiful. Okay. Maybe the experts will not be happy how I make a ganache, but chocolate ganache. But this is how I do it. I like it. It's very simple, it's very fast. I still have some cream. I'll just add the rest. So, das ist alles. Wir haben es geschafft. We will just wait until the cake is done. Then we can add this on top. We will, of course, let the cake um, cool down at first and then we will put this on top so see you later and enjoy